Hello. The government has kicked off another strand of its general election build-up with the introduction to Parliament of the Football Governance Bill. Now this bill has potentially significant ramifications for football clubs and investors alike and we've been looking at some of the detail of that bill. Do you, Louis, want to explain some of its key provisions? Thanks, Julia. Yes, there are two key areas that I think clubs and investors will want to focus on now. First, any owner of a football club will have to demonstrate to a newly formed regulator that they have the requisite honesty and integrity and that they are financially sound. Further, any officer of the club will have to demonstrate that they have the requisite competence. Now, those tests are wide ranging and highly subjective, much more so than the current tests in force. And that could lead to regulatory disagreement and ultimately courtroom battles. The second key aspect is that clubs will, on an ongoing basis, have to comply with a host of new requirements. Now, those requirements cover, for example, uh, needing to produce uh, and adhere to financial plans and corporate governance statements, uh, but also embedding fan engagement into key aspects of the decision making processes uh, for clubs. Now, the scale of those requirements shouldn't be underestimated by clubs and investors, and it will take quite a significant compliance lift. However, more fundamentally, uh, clubs will have to uh, strike up and develop a new regulatory relationship with the new uh, regulator. Uh, and the work in that shouldn't be underestimated either. It's significant uh, and to ground that relationship in trust, integrity and transparency. And in terms of the timing for this, of course, much of the detail will become clear once the new regulator has been set up and has developed the rules that will apply to this new regime. But for now, the focus of government and legislators more generally is on getting this bill through Parliament. And it's very clear that that's something that the government wants to happen in advance of the general election. And Robert, as investors and football clubs try to engage with government in, in order to ensure that this bill is a, as good as it possibly can be, uh, do you have any thoughts about what they might want to think about? Thanks, Julia. Well, the first point I'd make is that this is a hugely political piece of legislation. This is a piece of legislation that connects the centre of government with fans, with voters ahead of a forthcoming election. And that means that those who are engaging with government on this not only need to consider taking their engagement to the centre of government, to number 10, but also to make sure that the points they're making show an understanding of the implications to fans, to voters, in a way that in normal times, the department would be slightly less concerned. In terms of timing, We've heard from Labour that they are supportive of the legislation and we know that there is broad support from across the House of Commons. So I would be very surprised if there is an uh, interference with this uh, ahead of the election. And of course, that means that we could be seeing something on the statute books as early as the autumn. Thanks, Robert. And so in terms of what people should do if they ex uh, expect to be affected by this bill, I suppose the first job is to really get on top of what the bill actually provides for now uh, and then to think about how that is going to affect your business. Um, we regularly advise clients who engage with government uh, to ensure that new legislation or regulation is as effective as possible. Uh, and if that's something that is of interest to you, then please do get in touch.